On the first day of school, this girl was hit and sent flying by a large truck. However, the ambulance driver didn't take her to the nearby hospital for emergency treatment. Instead, he drove towards a private hospital located 10 kilometers away. The father was puzzled and confused by this. The driver explained that the public hospital was overcrowded and there would be long queues for treatment. But in reality, it was because the private hospital offered him a higher bribe. By the time the girl was taken to the private hospital, she had already lost the critical time for rescue. The corrupt hospital didn't want to miss this opportunity to make money. So they deliberately deceived the girl's father, falsely claiming that she could still be saved but required a surgical fee of 600,000 yuan. Seeing his daughter on the verge of death in the hospital bed, the father was filled with immense grief. He hurriedly went home to sell their house, raising the money to send his daughter into the operating room. However, once the daughter entered the operating room, the doctors didn't make any effort to save her. Instead, they pretended to console the girl's parents, saying they had done their best. The parents wanted to take their daughter's body back home, but the director informed them that they needed to pay a funeral fee of 200,000 yuan to take her away. Overwhelmed, the mother couldn't accept it and chose to commit suicide by jumping off a building. However, this didn't bring down the corrupt hospital. Instead, the incident was labeled as a hospital disturbance by the media. Strangely enough, after this incident, everyone involved in the girl's death died under mysterious circumstances. The driver who delayed the rescue, the deranged surgeon, and the corrupt hospital director, the surgeon who wielded the scalpel suffered the most. He was forced into a box and kept alive by a ventilator, suspended by force. By the time the police arrived, the rescue time had elapsed by exactly 10 minutes. Just when the police had no leads on this murder case, the culprit, Jack, chose to surrender. From the moment he was born, he had been devastated by unscrupulous doctors, leading to the ruin of his family. He didn't want the corrupt hospital to get away with it, nor did he allow them to profit from illicit activities. When the police convicted him of intentional murder, he made a swift motion, and the handcuffs instantly locked onto the police officer's hands. This was because his true revenge had only just begun. As the woman was drinking pearl milk tea, she suddenly passed out due to a pearl getting stuck in her throat. Witnessing her impending death, Tom swiftly snapped his bank card, wiped his neck, and used a straw to suck out the pearl. Everyone praised Marvel at his actions. Tom was a well-known local village doctor, highly skilled in various medical techniques. Not only that, but he only charged $5 for each consolation, which endeared him to the villagers. However, his actions had an impact on the profits of the corrupt hospital. The wicked hospital director wanted to hire Tom as their spokesperson, but Tom would never agree to such an offer. Consequently, the director arranged for someone to teach Tom a lesson, but Tom's agility allowed him to defeat the thug. On that day, a grand magic show took place, and the wicked hospital director was invited on stage to participate. Despite a few sword strikes, the director emerged unharmed. However, when the magician removed his mask, the director's expression turned grave because the magician was none other than Tom, the person who had rejected him. Realizing that escaping was futile, the director attempted to flee, but it was already too late. As the screen slowly descended, a sharp knife ruthlessly pierced his body. Worried that he hadn't died, Tom skillfully rotated the knife, ultimately killing the director. With the director's demise, the local villagers celebrated and cheered, praising Tom for his actions. The pregnant woman was initially able to have a vaginal delivery, but the doctor forcefully arranged a cesarean section because the hospital wouldn't profit from a natural birth. Moreover, a C-section would require the woman to stay in the hospital for at least a week. In concern for his wife's life, the husband reluctantly signed the surgical consent form. However, due to the inexperienced doctor's overdose of anesthesia, the baby was born without breathing. The hospital's boss instructed the director to dispose of the baby, declaring her stillborn. Unfortunately, this scene was overheard by the just-awakened pregnant woman. To avoid arousing suspicion, the wicked doctor directly injected a full bottle of anesthesia into her body. Upon hearing the commotion, the husband rushed into the operating room, and with her last breath, the wife exposed the hospital's conspiracy. Enraged by this revelation, the husband grabbed a weapon and went to confront the boss, only to find out that the boss had already fled. As the man left the hospital, numerous bottles were ruthlessly hurled at him, but he did everything in his power to protect his elder son. Little did he know, the boss had already arranged for his henchmen to eliminate the man, as exposing the hospital's conspiracy would mean imprisonment. Feeling trapped with nowhere to go, the man placed his son in a nearby truck and lured the thugs to an open space to engage in a confrontation. However, in the end, he tragically lost the fight against the enemies and died at their hands. Although he had passed away, by some miracle, his breathless son was rescued. Upon learning the truth, the two brothers decided to seek revenge for their parents. They first kidnapped the boss's son, and then lured the boss to come alone to rescue his child. When the boss arrived, countless bottles were fiercely thrown at him, just as he had inflicted on their father years ago. When the boss regained consciousness, he found himself slowly suspended by a mechanism, and in a cruel twist, he met his demise at the hospital's entrance by triggering the mechanism with a mere five dollars. Although the older brother was sentenced to lifelong imprisonment for intentional murder in this incident, he remained fearless.